Hi there, this is Matt with Grand Ventures. Recently, due to the whole pandemic thing, we have been doing a lot of broad traveling across the country or some of the hot spots we really like. No pun intended. So we've been camping with our travel trailer. We were a little naive when we bought it. It's 27 foot. We have a really steep driveway and we didn't realize what a pain it was gonna to be to get it up said driveway. Um, the very first day we tried to get it home, the back stabilizers would rub on the bottom and so would the utility slash wood rack. So originally we used wood pieces, just like some four by four, kind of used it as a makeshift ramp to get up and over. Um, and that kind of worked. It wasn't a great solution. Let me show you what we're working with here on the actual driveway. So the actual driveway is very steep as you can see. Right about here is when it would start scraping. Let me show you another view from the bottom. So I'm not exactly sure what grade or slope that would be considered, but it's steep enough to kind of hang us up. So I looked on YouTube and other resources, had a lot of trouble finding what to do. There wasn't a lot of information or anything people had done that this worked for me or that worked for me. So we posted in some RV forums what to do. We had some different suggestions. So initially I just made some, what I thought were tall enough wood ramps out of some treated four by fours and some two by fours. And they're really, really heavy. Let me show you. They said they're really heavy. They kind of worked. I may have found another use for them. Yeah, I'll stick to my weights. <laughs> So now you may ask yourself, well, what do we do? Was the problem solved? Well, like I said, after all our research and asking some different opinions online, through like some RV forums, somebody suggested a trailer axle swap. And it's it sounds a little bit different than what it actually is. They don't actually change out the axle. What it does is it switches the position of the leaf spring. So let me show you up under here. Maybe hard to see. But this is our configuration afterwards. As you can see, the leaf springs are now on top of the axle before they were underneath. And so, yeah, they did a good job. Okay, so let me kind of show you. This is the after. When I measured before how much clearance we had, because originally we thought maybe we'd get some bigger tires, but we'd have to get like monster tires and we just didn't have the clearance. But if you take a look from the top, of the tire to kind of the wheel well here. I'd say it's about six and a quarter, six and a half inches, give or take. Um, that's where we're sitting at now. Before we were just barely two. I mean, there was just two inches in between. And so as you can see, they gave us about four and a half inches of lift, which is nice. And that's, that's, just enough, actually a little bit more, to get up this beast of a driveway. So we're really happy with it. Um, it's a great solution. I hope you at home, if you're considering buying a travel trailer and have a monster driveway, um, that this is something you can consider. This may not work for everybody. Um, one thing to consider, um, we got a one-ton truck, which I think helps with the, it's got better leaf springs in the back as far as hauling something like this. Um, make sure your trailer hitch is nice and level. That makes a big difference as well. One concern I had was, is it gonna handle squirrely afterwards because it's got a higher center of gravity? How's it gonna be affected by wind? Um, I haven't been in real windy conditions. Basically, we drove it home after dropping it off at another place to get some maintenance done. But actually it handled really well. I was quite surprised. Luckily my Husky Jack, um, on the back of the truck that we tow it with, it's adjustable, so I was able to raise the hitch enough to get it fairly level. Um, and it handles just fine. I, like, I, I wouldn't even know anything different. So, since we did get some lift, um, 
we may have to put an extra set of blocks under these steps rather than buy new steps just so that this makes good contact with the ground that's something to consider and since it is higher our stabilizer jacks although i got a new set i'm going to put on here um you don't want those extended out all the way from what i've been told and so i'm gonna actually i'm gonna cannibalize those wooden ramps and i'm gonna put some of those blocks under here other than that we're really happy with it and so hope you enjoyed this video hopefully like i said i did a bunch of search on videos i couldn't find anything about this had i seen a similar video it would have helped me tremendously so i hope this helps you too um and you're adventuring and what's the nicest thing too is it's like one of those things i didn't want to move this thing i didn't want to drive it just because it was such a pain i'd get like this you know storm cloud over my head i didn't want to deal with it at all and so that kind of was uh, taking the fun out of traveling with it a little bit just because there's that kind of dread and that's completely gone so if you like this video make sure to like it share this channel and subscribe and there's gonna be more to come so see you then